All right, here we go. Drone deliveries approved. What's going on? Let's take a closer look over here. According to Gizmodo, here's an article. It says Alphabet's Winglands World's first approval for drone deliveries of food and medicine in Australia. And Alphabet, of course, is uh, Google, right? Alphabet owns Google and YouTube. It says here, Australia's Civil Aviation Safety Authority has approved Project Wing's plan for drone delivery of food and medicine in the suburbs around the capital city of Canberra, a world first. According to a new, new report by The Guardian, Project Wing, a subsidiary of Google parent company Alphabet, has been testing self-flying delivery drones in Australia for over a year. So they are self Flying. That's interesting. I mean, we've heard of the cars, right? The self-driving cars, but now here you go. Self-flying drones. For over a year, they've been testing it, and it's been approved. Let's take a note. Uh, let's read on some more here. Project Wing, sometimes referred to as just uh, Wing, has previously tested direct-to-consumer drone deliveries at places like Virginia Tech in 2016. But this is the first time the company has won government approval for relatively large-scale deliveries anywhere in the world. The deliveries will start with roughly 100 homes in the Canberra area. That's interesting. I mean, these homes, do they have a designated stop, you know, spot? Do they give them, like, the specific coordinates as to where they want it, uh, the drone to land, you know? Is going to be in the driveway? Uh, what's going to play out with that? I mean, what happens if there's a the car in the driveway? It's going to be interesting. We're going to, let's uh, read on and see if we have some uh, answers to these questions. The drones are reportedly required to operate during daylight hours and aren't allowed to cross major freeways yet. That's interesting. Daylight hours and aren't allowed to cross major freeways. That makes sense because most probably using the camera, it's going to be easier. I guess it's AI if it's self flown, right? For it to uh, look and see what's going on in the daytime versus night right because the lights might not always be on and let's uh read on over here project wing did not immediately respond to gizmodo's request for comment okay all those safety issues have been assessed so there are no risks to people on the ground property or aircraft in the sky a cast spokesperson told the guardian today it's not immediately clear what retailers will be delivering via wings drones but four companies have been involved in the early trials, including a drive through coffee chain called Kickstart Express, Espresso, a chain bakery called Baker's Delight, Mexican fast food chain Guzman Y Gomez, and a Chemist Warehouse, a drugstore similar to Walgreens or CVS in the U.S. Interesting. Uh, some, uh, you get your espresso. You can get dessert, right? Bakery Delight, some uh, Mexican food, and uh, looks like a Walgreens. I mean, that could be anything or CVS, right? This uh, chemist warehouse. And according to Wing's website, the company company's Australian drone facility is in the suburb of Mitchell, and service will begin in the suburbs of Carr Cars, uh, Palmerstone in Franklin in the coming weeks. Assuming everything goes according to plan, it will expand to the suburbs of Harris and uh, I can't even pronounce that, Gungalin in the following months. Interesting. So looks like there's going to be multiple suburbs if all goes well. Wing released a short concept video late last year to show how the deliveries are working in Australia. So all last year they released it. And uh, let's see over here. Wing also uploaded a video showing a testimonial from a woman who participated in the drone delivery trials. She described ordering from the chemist warehouse and getting sunscreen deliver delivered for her grandchildren within seven minutes. That is incredible. Within seven minutes. Um, I guess e-commerce is not going to stand a chance with that, right? Even Amazon's uh, prime delivery is 24 to 4. It's 48 hours, right? That's interesting. There you go. Something that could rival uh, e-commerce here. Uh, drone deliveries, right? The mother mother tells the story of how she once uh, didn't have 
any pendol pendol penadol the Australian equivalent of Tylenol in the house and her life would have been made a lot easier if she couldn't could have ordered the pain reliever by drone instead of having to get into a car with a sick child okay drone delivery is an exciting and futuristic idea but one of the biggest hurdles to overcome has been the noise wings promotional videos are dubbed with plenty of voiceover music but you can't actually hear the noise made by the drones as they travel over neighborhoods they're not exactly quiet as you can hear the from this video well you know i mean i guess it depends on the type of drone uh, i've flown a couple of drones and the newer ones uh, well i guess they're the smaller ones like the maverick pro uh, they're not that loud i mean it is definitely loud but uh that's something very interesting over here that they're bringing up and uh there's the article i mean there's a lot of unanswered questions you know i mean i'm interested to see how uh, they said the, the the safety is there. What about the batteries and all that? Obviously, it's being charged on the drones, how it's flying, all of that. It's very interesting. It seems uh, complex. And then obviously, it's got to be using some kind of uh, AI to fly the drones, right? From uh, place to place. Apparently, it's been working. They've been doing it for over a year. So there it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. You ready to order your pizza through the drone delivery? What about that coffee shop, Espresso? It's got to get to you fast, right? Otherwise, it's going to get cold. Interesting stuff over here. This could definitely uh, rival e-commerce, right? By the time that shipment comes, or it'll get just get integrated into e-commerce, because um, you know, we know that Amazon's also been testing it. But here it is, first uh, approval. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are down below, and we'll talk to you soon.